Hi guys, welcome to HTML tutorials. This is Anil. One second back in this tutorial. Today, as I promised in this trick class, today we are going to talk about order lists. Uh, what actually an order list is? Lists are of three types: on order, order, and definition. And yesterday we have completed an order list, and today we are going to discuss about order list. Order list is the way of presenting the items or points in the form of numbering system, lettering system, or Roman number system. Or in a alphabetical order system, which will be in a sequenced order. So we will go to the in depth of that using the HTML editor. This would be the code looks like how to write an order list code, and the output of that code will be shown in the browser. This will be an order list, an example of order list. Milk, tea, coffee. These are the in list indexes or the points which we are going to show in an order list format. Order list is nothing but a numbering format or an alphabetical order or a Roman number order, the fashion which the text can be shown. So this would be a best example of order list. So how we can develop this kind of uh, format in HTML? If you go to the code point of view, this would be the code. This these three lines of code you are pretty much familiar with these three lines of code and these two lines of code. HTML body and H2 tag and HR tag, and this is the only code that you need to concentrate today. That is, order list is nothing but OL tag. This is called an OL tag. OL tag open, OL tag closing. Within that, we need to specify the list indexes by using li tag, li open, li close. Li open, Li close, Li open, Li close. So within that Li open and Li close, we need to give the bulleting points or text what we want to produce. Here I have given milk, tea, coffee as the text. And once if I save this one, and if I run in a browser, then the output will be in this format, which which is quite similar like an order list, just the case here the only difference is that instead of ul we are giving ol ul stands for an order list and ol stands for order list this is the only difference between an order and order list and if you go to the properties and attributes of this order list and how many ways we can represent this order list and what would be the best approach of nesting this order list that we'll be discussing later now if you come to the attributes of this order list the first attribute is type attribute type equals to by default it takes the numbering system 1 2 3 normal number as a default numbering system for order list even if we give externally also there will be no difference in the output if we refresh this one there is no difference in the output in place of 1, if we give caps lock A, I mean uppercase alphabet A, and if you save this one, and if you see the output, see A, B, C will be in a sequenced fashion. In place of A, if I give small A, and if I refresh this one, small A, B, C. In place of small a, if I give Roman numbers, Roman number 1. To give a Roman number 1, press caps lock on the keyboard and press I. So that it looks like Roman number 1. Save this one and check the output. See Roman number 1, 2, 3. If you have more number of list indexes, then it will be shown in a more number of values. I am giving more number of list indexes. Let it be milk one, tea one, coffee one. Save this one, refresh this one in this way. Roman number values. And in place of Roman number value, if I give small i, then it's small lowercase Roman number letters. This is what lowercase Roman number letters. And if we give, if we don't provide any type value, then what happens? 
default value will be the numbering system normal numbers this will be the normal numbers and by default it generates from the number 1 but if requirement comes and if you want to change the numbering system of the start point then we have an attribute like start if you provide a start value like 6 or 7 or anything 9 then the bulleting point number will be starting with the whatever the start point we have provided in the OL tag if you refresh this one 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 so the importance of start tag is it specifies the OL tag to start from that particular number and the importance of type tag is to define what type it should be displayed here we are let, let us we take it as roman number one but this start well doesn't work with the roman number one or number two oh, it's working great and for small letters it's also working This is what start is an attribute which provides the start of the list index number. So this is what a normal OL tag functionality can be done in HTML and the possible ways of rendering order list in HTML are basically five types that will be shown in this way. First one will be first one will be a number list. This is the number list type equal to one, start equal to one. Second one will be lower case, and third one will be Roman numbers. Fourth one will be lower case letters means alphabets. Fourth one will be upper case letters means capital A, capital B. These all are the five possible ways we can render and on order list in html so if you uh, see all the five possible ways in a single page then this would be the best example this is what the first one number list lower case roman, roman number list roman number list lower case letters letters these all are the five possible ways that we can see an order list in html and if you come to the nested order list this will be the next order list. See, this is what a combination of all the possible ways of rendering an order list in HTML and that too with nesting of all the order list within the next another order list. So, how to generate this kind of order nester list? We will go to the code and we will try and we will do something. What we will do is we will just copy this one. And we'll paste this one here in this one. And we'll remove everything here from remove, remove. or else we do something this we'll take this one. Now, as per the output, what they want is milk. If you save this one and if you run this code, it gives normal order list. So, we have to develop this kind of order, uh, nested order list. So within milk, we milk has been categorized into cow milk and buffalo milk with capital alphabetical order. So what we'll do is beside of milk, if you press enter and if you give an ol hit enter close ol give li list index and name it as cow milk. Next buffalo milk. 
close the line and save this one and check the output see by default it is giving a number system by default it is giving a number system here 1 and this is 2 but we can externally we can modify the value by giving type so what we do is we will give it we will specify the type of that order list type equals to and what we want here we want capital A and capital B so we want alphabetical orders give capital A save this one now refresh this one have been changed next what we need to do under T it should be green tea and regular tea green tea and regular tea ok now what we will do is we will copy this line of code beside of T we will hit and enter and we will paste this one here what we will do is we will give it as green tea green tea and regular tea ok regular tea save this one come to the browser now green tea and regular tea but it is in alphabetical order so what actually we need is we need it in Roman lowercase letters. So what we'll do is we'll go to this here and we'll give it as Roman letters, small i. Save this one. Refresh this one. We have got Roman letters. Now within that green tea, it has been subcategorized into Japanese, Chinese, Sri Lankan green tea with Roman letter. So what we'll do is we will categorize the green tea here now. Again, copy this one. Press enter beside of green tea. What we need the only uh, the thing that we need to remember is if we want to insert a new uh, order list within an order list, then we need to specify that it it within the li. Then only it works. So press enter. Give some kind of formatting or make it alignment a little bit right uh, right side. And here what we need to give is Japanese, Chinese, Sri Lankan. Japanese, Chinese. And we need to have one more ally. So what we'll do is copy and we'll hit enter and we'll paste it. Go to home. Bam, 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 bam. And Chinese, you know, it is Sri Lankan. Sri Lankan or Ceylon. Now save this one. Go to the browser and check it. We have got Japanese, Chinese, Sri Lankan. But the Japanese, Chinese, and Sri Lankan should be in uppercase Roman letter. So what we'll do is we'll give it as instead of small i we'll give it as caps i. Then it will change into that format. It has been changed. Now the next uh, target is to change the regular tea, Japanese green tea, Chinese Sri Lankan to numbering system. What we'll do is we'll save this one and we'll delete this one. Now what we'll do is we'll copy this one, the entire thing, and what we'll do we'll hit and enter beside of regular tea. And we will go and we'll paste the code. Instead of this small i, we'll give what it has numbering system. So according to this output, the number should start with three. So what will we specify three here? Type equals to one and give the start value as start equals to three. So that the numbering system will start from three. Go to the output and check. See, we have got three, four, five, and next coffee. Coffee should categorize into two: cold coffee and hot coffee. So what we'll do is to 
hit enter beside of for copy paste it give it a small a remove type and start and everything in place of here give it as remove this one cold coffee hot coffee save this one refresh this one we have got the same output as as shown in the last this one see everything is quite similar Yes. Now this is this is the way that we can uh, implement order list in HTML. The basic the summary of this today's class is order list can be represented in five ways. That is, first one is numbering system, second one is letter system, uppercase letter system, lowercase letter system, and the third one is uppercase or caps Roman letters, and the last one is lowercase Roman letters. These are the five possible ways that we can render an order list in HTML and also we have seen the nested order list with all the possible various uh, types of order list and also we, we have an option in order list to uh, start the number of order list at which point we can start and where to cl close that we have an option in HTML and order list will be useful in uh, defining the text or the points in a structured and sequenced manner i hope guys you enjoy this video and in the next class i will be teaching you the definition and uh, description list thanks for watching if you have any comments please uh, keep comments on my videos bye bye